Apple just announced brand new iPad Mini 7 on their website. Press release has been released, and so we're going to talk about what that is. You know, the iPad Mini has been kind of an interesting device over the years. It didn't sell very well. Maybe it doesn't still sell very well. There are a lot of people that like it. After the phones started to get bigger, was there really a place for the iPad Mini? This was a discussion that many people had, but since Apple keeps releasing them, maybe they are more popular than we thought. I'm going to break down all the new stuff for this iPad Mini, and then after that, so stay tuned, I'm going to talk about whether or not you want to get this brand new 2024, or should you think about maybe the 2021 that's still available, at least for a limited time. I checked my local Best Buy. They still have some in stock. Not too many colors, not too many models, but they are still out there, and it might be a good deal for you. So stay tuned for that. But first, let's get into what the new iPad Mini is. It's got the A17 chip. That's the chip that's in the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, uh, which means it's Apple Intelligence capable whenever Apple Intelligence uh, comes out. 8.3-inch liquid retina display, and you've got four new colors. You've got a blue, you've got a purple, you've got a starlight. Well, starlight's not new. And you've got, of course, space gray. iPad Pencil Pro support. And it starts at $499 for 128 gigabytes, which is great because it used to be $499 for 64 gigabytes, which just didn't really seem like that great a deal. You can order starting today, October 15th, 2024, on Apple's website, and uh, they will start delivering on the 23rd, which I'm guessing is um, a week, eight days from today, something like that. So... <laughs> All in all, it looks like a pretty solid update for the iPad Mini. Uh, it will get refreshed up to Apple Intelligence speeds. It has a little bit more storage uh, to start at the base model, which makes it a little bit better buy. But let's go ahead and talk about whether or not it's absolutely necessary to buy this new one, or should you think about getting one of the ones from 2021? I checked on Best Buy's website, and they are selling the... 2021s for $399 for the base model, down from $499, and that was for 64 gigabytes of storage, which isn't great, but it's doable. $549 for 256 gigabytes of storage. That might be the best value. You don't get Apple Pencil Pro support, but you get Apple Pencil 2 support, uh, and also Apple Pencil USB-C, which is the lesser costing one. I'm kind of torn. I could go out and get the iPad mini six for 399 and that would probably be all that I would need for my iPad mini needs. I can't think of it. I'm not going to do any video editing. I don't think on an iPad mini, I'm not going to do any, any audio recording or anything like that. So maybe that's the better option for me. 399, you get 64 gigabytes. It looked like the only colors still available were space gray, but you might be able to find something different. What do you think? Should you grab the new and improved iPad Mini 7 with its uh, fancy new purple color and uh, a little bit more storage for $499? Or should you go ahead and grab the previous model for 100 bucks less? Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like what you saw here in this video, do hit the uh, subscribe button and come back and see me again because I, I come on here, I talk about this Apple-related stuff quite often. If you're into the technology, specifically Apple, specifically as a creator perhaps, or somebody who is interested in creation with Apple products, then this is the place for you. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, like the video, share it with your friends, do all the things that people tell you to do. And this video over here, YouTube thinks that you should check out right now because it's related to, in some way, stuff that you've been watching. Anyway, thanks so much for being here. Until the next time, I'm out.